I think, you know, what I end up spending my day with is really varies from teaching, which is, you know, right now I'm teaching the big introductory astronomy class. So you're going in front of a lot of people and speaking a lot of mentorship, a lot of working one on one with people from, um, you know, undergraduates to graduate students to postdocs. Now, many of my former students are faculty members and I'll be end up talking to them about their career. So uh, mentoring people and working with them on projects and uh, developing them as scientists is a big part of what I do. At this point, I also do a lot of things that might be really quote political. Um, I am chair of what's called the Space Studies Board and of the National Academy of Sciences. The National Academy was set up by Abraham Lincoln to advise the federal government on pol science policy. In April, I was in Washington nine days, um, talked to people on the, the Hill, the uh, House science staff, Senate science staff, talked to uh, folks at OMB and OSTP at the White House, uh, spent a number of days at NASA headquarters talking to people there, and also served on the NASA Advisory Council. Uh, one of the other things I do with NASA is I'm running a the science definition team for a big project. This is a, a project that's really the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope in many ways. Um, NASA was given a gift from the National Reconnaissance Organization of two telescopes that had not been launched. Um, and uh, I've been working on how we can use these telescopes uh, to study everything from extrasolar planets to the basic properties of the universe, to the field the questions on cosmology. And that work involves working with a team of really excellent people throughout the country, my co-chair at, uh, at NASA, uh, and about uh, 30 scientists um, at NASA and universities, um, and more broadly interesting, you know, involving the whole astronomy community. So running conferences with a couple hundred people, writing reports, engaging people, building the political support and the and the scientific interest in the astronomy community to enable this mission. Um, and this is a mission will be a $2 billion mission. So this is a big project and making things of this scale happen um, requires drawing together a consensus for build, bringing together a lot of people to work towards a common goal. So it's an interesting combination of scientific vision and political uh, consensus building skills. So this is not something uh, that was part of my physics classes. I've learned somewhat over the years by being, doing things like being department chair, but in many ways I felt Princeton prepared me for it in the kind of the other classes I took and the other activities I was involved with um, in, as outside of uh, my core courses.